Hey, look who's here feeling uh, better about himself. Was uh, being operated on just last week, and today he's in here. Uh, got a throat slit ear to ear. It's Big A. A Big A. Big A. Big A. Man, did they take a slice out of you, Big A. Unbelievable. But a guy looks great with a scar, doesn't he? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Big A scarred. Hey, Fez, how you doing? Oh, good, Big A. Thanks. He got you, Fez. Yeah, got me good. <laughs> uh, the other day, uh, Opie was complaining that we stole you away from him. He's oh, yeah, worried now. <laughs> yeah, he's worried. Yeah, he did mention... Uh, uh, why can't I be on two shows? I mean... What do you think it is about Opie that he's a little bit uh, worried about? Because I never saw him treat you all that nice, Big A. Not as well as you should be treated. You are the coolest guy. You are Big A. Big yes, a. I am. And by the way, Patrice O'Neill brought you up during Unmasked. Oh, uh, the uh, biggest, did he? yeah, the biggest interview of his life, and he brings up Big A. Um, I can't wait to hear that. Cause yeah, I don't know whether they'll cut it out, though, because oh. uh, that came up in the meeting. Oh. But if not, I'll try to get a piece of raw material. Okay. Because he said nice things about you. I like Patrice. He's a good guy. Are you going to start holding this over O&A's head now? Now that the radio war has started? Ugh. They could end up losing Big A. Losing their mainstay. You're the yeah. fullback of the o a show, right? Yes, I am. Whenever they need a couple of yeah. yards, Anthony's not funny, Jimmy's having an off day, Opie's looking around, he doesn't know what to go to next. Then Opie gets the idea, a big A. Big A. Big A. Always save an O&A, a big A. The savior, yeah. big A. Rescue me, not Dennis Leary, big A. I don't think I, I've ever heard you have a bad set on that show either. You always kill. Actually, I always kill on both programs. Yeah, you really do always kill on yes. both programs. But with O&A, do you ever cool. notice, uh, and you were bringing this up earlier too, it's like when the show's down, it doesn't mean anything, you're still ready. When yeah. Opie doesn't have his 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 uh, curveball, uh, Anthony's having problems. Here comes Big A. Suddenly they're back on top again. How did you start picking up that show for those guys? How'd you become the savior, the ONA savior? What savior? He goes on there and he gets abused. What did when did it start for you? Do you remember the first time you went on their show? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Motorcycle run. Right. About two years ago. Dominated that. Of course. And then who asked you back, Opie? Um, uh, Did he say there's something about you, kid? I got to uh, have you? Oh, uh, yeah. Actually, he heard uh, this interview with, 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 with me and Danny. Uh-huh. And he said, bring him up right away. He said, bring him up right, oh, right away. away. Right away. Like, yes. Like, save me. Yes. Yeah, save me. Get me, Big A. The o and show isn't working today. Get me, Big A. Big A. Yeah. And after that, it's been all gold. Uh, uh, yeah, pretty much, yes. 100% yes. gold. 100% gold. Now, gold. Opie always uh, lock size with you, right? He's always, It seems like if yeah. you're in, he's getting some kind of strength from you. Yeah, he's always looking in my direction, yeah. Yeah. Anthony, too? Well, sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes I, I'm... Um, shoulder to shoulder with him. Near him, but... Right. You know, you know, a little away from him. Right. But Opie doesn't take his eyes off like, what's next, Big A? Where yeah. do I take this? <laughs> yeah. Does that work best for the show, you think? Is that what's helped? Because I noticed before you were doing that, they weren't syndicated in all these cities. I mean, they were lagging. Yeah. They were actually off the air for a while. Uh, yeah, uh, I guess it did help. And then they get the fullback. Yep. We need two yards. It's th it's fourth and short. Should we punt? And Anthony will be like, no, Opie, don't punt. We got big A. Uh, yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah. You think that maybe even they ought to start throwing you a little cash? I mean, it wouldn't hurt. They're doing well. What do you think each of your appearances is worth? I mean, if you had to guess for what you've done for them. 
Uh, no, it's hot. Thousands, right? Probably. Yeah, probably a couple thousand every time you come out. You have an agent? Uh, not yet, no. I want to give you the name and number of a guy named Bob Eatman and let him let him talk to these guys okay. <laughs> because here's the thing. They want to spin uh, gold, right? Mm-hmm. Why not take care of the guy who's bringing the gold? A big A. Big A. Multi-million dollar man. What do you think, Dave? Big A? Big A. Yeah. Ted DiBiase, they called him. Million dollar man. No, Big A. Oh, okay. <laughs> Doesn't even make sense. Uh, so, for the last two years, you've been dominating, killing for O&A. Uh, I thought I was also doing a good job on Ron Fizz also. That goes without saying. Yeah. Eh. That goes without saying. Eh. Hey, uh, any changes you like to make in the uh, O&A show? Anything at all in the back of your mind? Uh, nothing I can think of right now. You think all the side characters are good, though? I mean, obviously, you like Opie and Anthony, right? I love Jimmy also. Jimmy's great. Always. But some of those other guys, they don't have that big A thing that we're looking for. You ever notice that? Who do you have in mind? Well, you know, some of the other comics that they bring in and... You know, I mean, to me, I hear a lot of those guests or whatever. I'm like, that could be Big A's time. We could be doing the news with Big A right now. Does that ever bug you? Uh, not really. I mean... Just I, a little? No, I enjoy the just, comics. Just a little bit? Get to you a little bit? Well, Big A is the best. You beat uh, this tumor thing, huh? What was it? It, it was benign. Nine, yes. Yeah. So what was it? Yesterday. What was it? What was it? If it wasn't cancerous, what was it? Just an old jawbreaker that you had swallowed and got caught there. What was it? Um, uh, uh, I think it was a mass. Um, of what? <laughs> um, uh, honestly, I don't know. I know it was six and three quarters centimeters, pretty big, of uh, size of like a racquetball. Wow! Nice. Congratulations. You never felt it there, or you did? You could feel it? Kind of bouncing around a little bit? Well, I felt it, yeah, but it was no pain. Or, right, or so ignore. I didn't interfere with anything. Yeah, it's best to ignore, they say, if you feel any kind of tumor in your face. Ignore it. Let it go for a while. <laughs> um, hey, Dave, you're on Run of Fez. Hey, guys. Uh, big A, I think you're just being modest, buddy. I think what they took out of your neck was a big old hunk of gold. Ra hey. Radio gold. Yep. Radio Gold. My family and I, when we go out west, we go panning for Big A. A Big A. Big A. Six and three quarters. Has Opie ever called you Radio Gold, Big A? I think he has. Yeah, I think he has, too. I think he has. Hey, has Anthony ever uh, gotten around to thanking you? Um, uh, yeah, he must have. I know yeah. Opie thanks me all the time. Yeah, that home that Anthony's living in. Do, do you consider that the house the Big A built? I mean, when you really think about it, do you ever think that when Anthony will, uh, drives into that gated community that he should be saying to himself, thank you, Big A, every time? Oh, well, uh, I don't know, but thank you, you Big A. I, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people, you know, thank you. put all, all all together. Right. But a lot of people know that you've been the one for the last two years of uh, basically pulling that cart, Right. I mean, when you really think about the team of horses, you're leading that. Mm -hmm. Like a Clydesdale. Yeah. What? Fez, you don't start on him. What? You drive him crazy. Clyde hey, what if Fonet did a big A appreciation night? Like maybe just something or maybe even a big A appreciation show to just finally thank you for their success. <laughs> you think that'd be nice? Yes. Yeah. I think it would. Earl, where's that pizza? It's in. We were told that it's in route. It should be here momentarily. It actually just walked in the door right now. The pizza walked in. That's the scary. pizza. The guys just <laughs> walked it in right yeah. now. Big A, will you enjoy some pizza with us? Yeah, of course. Yeah, and, and also I'd like to thank of of Hard Rock Johnny uh, of taking care of me and my left Chris uh, over the Hard Rock. When when did that happen? 
uh, uh, early on today. Free food and booze? Mm-hmm. How much yep. did you get? I know, it's about two, three, two, three beers each. Uh-huh. Uh, now, what do you do? You call him advance or you uh, just pop in on him? Hey, we're in the area. Actually, Lee, today I just popped in, but... <laughs> So now you're here for your second free lunch. Mike, you're on Run a Fez. Hey, Big A. How are you doing, buddy? Oh, I'm doing great. Thank you. you, you well, thanks a lot. Hey, I, I want to ask you a question. What kind of a role do you see yourself uh, fulfilling if you were to uh, be invited into the ONA show? But don't be a traitor! Don't be a traitor! Don't listen to him, Big A. If Opie came to you and said, I want you to be permanent member of the show. And I guess there's been talk, right? I mean, obviously there's been talk. Of course. Yeah. And it's gone back and forth between you and those guys. Where do you see yourself on that show? Fourth Mike? Uh, uh, definitely fourth Mike. Uh-huh. You can't take Jimmy's, you know, Jimmy does an excellent job. Right, he does. He does a good job too. So would you say at that point to third Mike and fourth Mike, equal? No, I, think I mean, some days when, like, Opie's having an off day, you, you do some of his stuff. Some days when Anthony's not on, and you were bringing this up before, not every day can be gold with him, right? I mean, he's going to have his problems, right? And that's where you come in. Yeah, I guess, but uh, 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 they do a great job. I'm yeah, for what day. they do, for what they, they do, they do, do, they do well. They do. But where would they be without you? So you're thinking now, at this point, let's stop this dance back and forth. You know, obviously the seduction has gone on for two years. If they don't offer you a job, would you be willing to go somewhere else? Would you? Ha- I mean, if you have to, you got to earn a living, right? Would you cross the street? Well, uh, actually, uh, oh, uh, open Anthony. He actually found me, you know. Right. I am kind of loyal to them. That is good. You, know? you are loyal to them. I am loyal. Right. But at a certain point, Big A got to eat too, right? Am I right about that? Somebody's got to take care of Daddy. Uh, 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 yeah, that would, would be nice, but... You know what would be... When's the Big A appreciation party that they're doing? I don't know yet. Is it a surprise or? I guess. I, Do you think I it's long over, me. long overdue though, right? Yes. This party, sure. All right, so Fezzi, that'll be interesting when this thing finally uh, comes to a head between um, O and A, and the guy who, let's face it, has got them where they've uh, gone over the last couple of years, and that's Big A. Well, it does seem like they're on a collision course here. Mm-hmm. Or it could all be worked out uh, perfectly. <laughs> Harry in the show, Big A. Fez, why are you always going after Opie? Oh! Wow. Whoa. 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 After Opie for? Oh! Whoa. Who started this radio war? It was Opie, and now he's just decided that he wants it finished. Now he's decided he's going to puss out, that he's going to be a pussy about it. Do you kind of agree with that sometimes, though, Big A? Uh, no, I don't. That's interesting. Yeah, because, here's the thing, things didn't go Opie's way, now he wants it over with. All right, there you have it, um, ladies and gentlemen. It is coming to a head, uh, time for Big A to be taken care of by o and As you know, if you listen to him all, he has been the go-to man. If you'd like to see Big A full-time with o and doing news, whatever it yes. takes, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. It is time, is it not, Big Guy? It is. Time to give the devil his due? Yep. Yeah. I mean, you don't mind doing a little bit for free, yep. but it gets carried away, yep. right? And really, when people think of the show, they do think of you. They do think of you. I mean, look how much you've given to this show. You've uh, mm-hmm. actually had a tumor removed. You've given so much. That was for them? Uh, here's Richard. Richard, you're on a Fez. Hey, Ron. Yeah. Hey, Big A. Oh, hi, Fez. Oh, oh. <laughs> he got you. He got you. Oh. Boom, boom, scatter, boom. Oh, hi, caller. Let me just say, I think Big A is the biggest 
saint in the world. Uh, the humility of the person is unbelievable. He is a saint. They should name a a a, 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 a church after this guy. The church. Big a. Very big good. A. I want to see a big A appreciation day on the ONA show, and I want them to treat him like the king that I that he is. Am I right, Big A? Yep. And I hope you're listening, Opie, because it's time for you to open up that uh, checkbook of yours. Uh, here is um, Dave. Dave, you're on my Fez. Yeah, how about giving Big A Earl's 25%? Big A! Big A! Here is Chris. Chris, you're on my Fez. Yeah, hey, uh, we over at ronfez.net think Eastside Dave rocks the shit out of a fat ass. And happy birthday, little Jimmy. Big A? Thank you. So Big A wanting to uh, eventually get hired on with the ONA show. Drew, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Yeah, I think uh, Anthony needs to step down and they need to call it the Owen Big A show. Go Big A. If God forbid anything ever happens to Anthony, mm -hmm. you feel like you could hop right in there like you've been around the show enough? Yeah, definitely. But I would hope nothing against Anthony no, at all. No, we know that. Obviously, you're insurance yes. to that. No one wants anything to happen to Anthony. Mm -hmm. But if something did, and you hopped in, I'm not sure most of us would even notice it would run so smoothly, don't you think? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yes. There's something about you and Opie have that chemistry. Yep. And I'm not saying it's better than the chemistry Opie and Anthony have. Right. But it's it's different. Yes. Much, sometimes much it's a, sometimes even a little more positive, because Anthony can get into a negative spiral sometime. Am I right? Well, you you bring a positive thing every day. Uh, yeah, I always bring the positive. Even in here, I bring positive. Right. Even though oh, it has, has negative, I bring a positive. That is true. That is very, very true. I'm positive you're a pain. I'm, I'm looking forward to the new show. I'm looking forward to what happens when they make you a... Uh, permanent member. I think it's going to be uh, really, really e exciting. Um, Randy, you're on Run Fez. Big Ass 307, buddy. Hey, Randy the Chronic. What's cool. happening, pal? How's it going? You know, even though Big A, you're only the equipment manager during high school, you are the captain of the football team that is ONA. Mm. Mm. Oh, thanks a lot. Maybe you, hey. could be equipment, maybe you could be equipment manager there and be in charge of headphones or something. Big A, like Mike Singletary. You do remind me of that kind of big looming presence. You know what I mean? And Mike Singletary, you're walking back and forth. And you're barking out orders to the guys on the show. Mm -hmm. Danny, Dan, Sam, yep. jump. Let's yep. go, boys. Let's yep. move this thing. And a lot of time if Jimmy's having like what you call one of his off days, you're in there, you're picking him up. Come on, Jimmy. You're better than this. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. Exciting <laughs> times for the O&A show. Big A playing a bigger role in the future. Yep. I hope an equal role. Bye-bye, Bill Burr and Rich Voss. Hello, Big A. Those guys get on your nerves a little bit when they take up mic time? Uh, actually, I enjoy listening to them. Uh-huh. I enjoy listening to the comics. Do you? Yeah. That's great about you, Big A. You're the best. And I hope that Opie finally gets that through his head. You think he will? Of course, I have all confidence in Opie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. I think he's going to do the right thing yeah. <laughs> and make you a permanent member of that team. Or at least publicly thank you for everything that you've done. Making them have a great life, let's face <laughs> it. Thanking you for their career. Putting them on the map, it's a big A. Dan O, you're on Running Fez. Hey, uh, big A, I'd just like to say, man, uh, I'm glad you're better. Hey, big A, don't forget, man, you know, who's always taking the piss out of you? It's O and A. Ronnie and Fez, he always got your back. And guys, I'd like to say, who can you always count on this street fight? The Big A. A Big A. Oh, the Big A. Fist of Fury. Uh, Pat, you're on Fez. Hey, guys. Yeah. Hey, uh, Big A, when you take over for Anthony, uh, are you going to be able to do some of those voices that Anthony does so well? I'd like to hear some. You doing any impressions, Big A? Um, yes, a few. Which one? One thing I noticed about Anthony, and he is a talented man. Yes, he is. He, he's very he, talented. He's talented, too, but you're talented in a different way. He does a lot of impressions. 
Some of them the best I've ever heard in my life. Oh, definitely. Doesn't definitely. do the animal oppressions that you do, though, Big A. Um, do the German Shepherd thing. The German Shepherd impression. All right, Fez, don't just yeah. close your eyes, Fez. All You're right. walking up to a junkyard, suddenly leaping out of the darkness. Here comes a German Shepherd. Go. <laughs> Oh Jesus. oh, Jesus. Is that scary or what? No, Big A. Wouldn't keep me out of the junkyard. Do the lion. Do the lion. Uh, you mean the actual lion? Yeah, an actual lion. Or uh, wh however you want to do it. <laughs> um... I don't know if I could do a lion. Any, yeah. Anything that you want. Any animal you want. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff, big guy. What's that supposed to be? I guess you don't listen to O&A, huh? Oh! Whoa! Oh! Oh! Face them. Let's take a quick break. We'll come back. It's more. O&A uh, finally doing the right thing. Hiring big A. Ron and show. Ron and Fez show enjoying uh, nine pizzas that Earl the Fainting Goat bought for us today. <laughs> Earl, is this the start of your weekly uh, parties? I certainly hope Why so. Why won't yeah. you hop into the show when called the Because I hit, uh, Dave hit me in the head by accident. That's All right, what. so already it's starting again. <laughs> Dave hit you so you can't do the air, be on the air. Ron, I lightly, by accident, elbowed him in the shoulder, and he does his Earl Douglas flop and goes oh, it was fucking ridiculous in the. Head. But why can't you be happy that he he's starting the weekly pizza parties? We've got nine pizzas out here, and the odd thing is, I've only seen nine slices go out so far. We're even <laughs> trying to get them to the builders. Nobody's getting. <laughs> Big A, did you have any at all? Yeah, I uh, have one slice. Hey, Than is here, and I'd like Than to thank you on behalf of the O and A show. It's something he said. Uh, he came over and uh, obviously gave me the big thumbs up. So maybe this isn't a. This is the very uh, start of it, too, uh, Big A. You got to start getting your due now. Did you want to thank him uh, uh, as far as the whole show goes, Than? Oh, I think if anybody's going to thank him, it should probably be Opie directly. He, that's very true. I didn't think about that. That'll be the point. You know the next time uh, Big A is scheduled to come in for the big salute, the Big A party? Uh, it's We haven't nailed down a date probably in the next month or two. He was telling me he's like the fullback for you guys. When you guys need that extra yard, you need that, uh, you got a short, you're in a short yardage situation, uh, Opie always hands off the ball to Big A. Uh... He contributes. He does, yeah. There you go, Big A. Loving it? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I saw that you nodded him ahead and made him get involved with it, too. <laughs> All right, thanks, Dan. Dan, take a pizza home with you. I will. Thank you. <laughs> Earl, thank you. Yeah, thank and, you. And, uh... Try to get back with Lily. I, it was a happier time for all of us. <laughs> it really was. It wasn't it, Big A? Oh, yeah. We didn't see you, Big A. You were supposed to be Lily's mystery date that time, and you didn't make the scene. Uh, and I apologize. My boss, really, he, he, he fucked me up a lot. Did you know? he? I was supposed to take off, and then I couldn't take off. And I felt really bad. Maybe when, o that. when O and A hire you full time, we won't have to worry about that. Definitely. You just leave your boss with a the tumor there. Now, is there anything particular that you're wanting for Big A Appreciation Day? Um, Dancers? I guess. Food, booze, and just the overall appreciation. Uh, here is uh, Joe. Joe, you're on my face. Hey, what's one more producer over there? They've got, as you said, Mr. Bennington, a battalion of producers anyway. Plus, Big A has more charisma and personality than any of those guys over there. I'm being completely serious. Sam's oh. a fucking robot, and Sam's a fag, for mm -hmm. God's sake. So? Um, <laughs> Put Big A in there. Dan's speaking in. <laughs> do you feel like you do have more uh, personality than all their producers put together, Big A? No, uh, maybe equal, but not more, no. Yeah. Is there anyone no, that you more. do feel like is dead weight? And here's another thing. Why aren't you hired for uh, security? 
I mean, who is who am I going to feel safer with if I'm O and A Club Soda Kenny or Big A? I think Kenny does a great job. Right, but he hasn't been in the street fights that you've been in over the years. I mean, you've been a scrapper, right? Look at that scar under his oh, yeah. chin. Yeah, of course. So Big A is in studio with us. He's just one week removed from surgery, and he's in here. And I guess Boras and Opie to get him on uh, to get him hired on the O and A show. And enjoying the Black Earl pizza party today. Anything going up, Fez? Anything happening in the world? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, there's a new study that shows that senior citizens account for 7% of car accidents in the U.S. Now, I wish you would have said, how many do you think? Because I bet we all would have bet higher than that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, everyone always More. says old ladies, bad drivers, or men, bad drivers. So I'm completely shocked... Only 7% of car accidents the elderly are involved in. Whereas they have the numbers on teens, uh, actually young drivers, age 15 to 24. 15 to 24. Actually, is that 7% in or, or, or how much percent cause? Because they probably cause much more. Good point, Big A, yeah. How many of those other accidents is because the old people drive so slow? They don't have it. They don't. They're not counting slow driving acts. These are accidents that senior citizens caused. Yes, that are in. But what Big A is saying: How many times you driving down the road? You're doing eighty. All of a sudden, there's an old lady doing forty. You end up in a cornfield, and she keeps on driving. Well, then, they, then yes. the old lady didn't cause that one. Yeah, if you're going too slow, you caused it. Or if you pull into somebody's lane, you can cause an accident without being in the accident. Yeah, you I can. understand that. Of course you can. Where are those numbers? Those they don't have. Or at least not in this They report. don't have or they're hiding, Big A? Uh, I think they're hiding. Definitely. Good one. Earl the Fane and Goats. It's actually a good song. So the teen, uh, the young drivers, age 15 to 24, mm -hmm. they account for... 43% of the accidents in the country. Wow. Well, you know, that's the age where you actually drag race. You know, when you're 16, 17, you're like, yeah, I had to race this guy. He revved next to me. But now, if you're an adult, someone revs next to you, you're just like, stop it, dick. They're probably out on the road more, too, more trips. The old person is probably, you know, hitting church and the pharmacy during the week. The retired person. They shop. Yeah, that's but you're true. right. They don't cruise, right? The way somebody who's 16. Do kids still even cruise around with as expensive as gas is now? I bet they still cruise. I would think so. I saw a thing the other day where uh, it was a survey where people said that it was three dollars and fifty cents. Survey says three dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> if gas hit three dollars. <laughs> <laughs> If, if gas hit three dollars and fifty cents a gallon, oh, you are something big, eh? <laughs> the O and A are lucky to have you. Lucky to have you. That's when they would actually stop driving and look for alternative forms of transportation. Like what? I don't know. Like balloon city, city buses, I guess. But everyone doesn't live in the city. The problem with people is they live in the suburbs. If you lived in the city, you don't have to drive. But a guy in the suburbs can't go. Gas is too expensive. I'm going to wait here for a bus. It just doesn't happen. Right. I'm so, And I don't think it's $3.50 either. I think people will pay whatever it is for gas. Uh, Mike, Mike, you're on Ron Fez. Hello? Yeah. Hey, uh, spy report. Spy report, spy uh, report. Big A spy report. is only there to spy on Fez and Dave to see what they're going to do next for the radio war. Oh, no! That's not true at all. Is that what you're doing, Big A? Coming not... in, eating our free Earl pizza? Oh, thanks a lot, Earl. It is the best, <laughs> Earl. Nobody's eating it, though, Earl. That's the problem. You probably only should have ordered one pizza. <laughs> Jonathan and Buddy will be here uh, in uh, 15 minutes, so half of that pizza will go when they, get it, when they arrive. Well, this Boylan's... Is cane cola. It's what? hideous. What is that? I've never heard of it. Take a swig. It tastes like 1920s 
Cola. Very strong. Oh, that's awful. Very southern, though, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. Why wouldn't you get a black cherry or a cream? Come on in, Nico. Pure cane sugar in this. Yeah, I don't know. I've never seen that. That was, that was Rooster. I oh, Diamond Out the Rooster. Well, he is a southern boy. He's like from Missouri or something. But at least he's eating pizza. You going to eat any pizza, Nico? Uh, I'll get sick. I got I got the lactose thing where I can't I can't have cheese. But <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was the only old people that get that. Uh, yeah, well, I guess I'm in that demographic. Why don't you have a... You're only 22, right? 20. Why don't you have a girl's uh, cheese sandwich? Uh, well, I... I I'd probably get, like, like the runs. All right, Earl, next time I'll order something for him off menu. All right. Uh, Wade, you're on running Fez. Hey, Ronnie. Just don't want to comment on that little uh, part that Fez said about uh, the drivers at, like, 350 a gallon would stop driving. Yeah. That's absolute bullshit, man. We're up here in Toronto. Average price is $1.05 a liter, and there's over four liters in a gallon. So you're looking at 420 to 440 a gallon up here, and people are driving more... Well, in Canada, you do got to drive your ass off to get anywhere, right? Yeah, it's either that or dog sled. <laughs> Good one. More impressions. I'll do that impression again. This is dog sled. <laughs> Good one. Sounds like Rich Little, Big A. A Big A. Big A. Dominating a Big A. Is that Phil Hardman or a Big A? Who do you really think does better impressions, you or Anthony Big A? Uh, uh, definitely Anthony. But they're different, definitely aren't Anthony. they? You do different than he does. He doesn't do the sound effects that you do. Watch his door opening. Good one. All right, someone trying to start their car on a wintry morning. It's very cold. You remind me of Michael Winslow from Police Academy. Oh, yeah. yeah you ever yeah, see that yeah, guy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, uh, you know, did, have you always been able to do these ever since you were a kid? Do these kind of impressions? Of course, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Seagull. <laughs> Let's give it a shot, big guy. Seagull. Mm, mm, mm. Good. Helicopter. <laughs> nice. That's also the car starting. Uh, no, it's not. Stop it, Fez. Jet plane. Here comes the jet. I almost ducked my head. That's also the <laughs> I, seagull. What is with you? Seriously, what's with you? I can't tell the difference between these things. You're trying, that's why. Uh, here's uh, Chris. Chris, you're running Fez. Hey, is the reason everybody's not eating the pizza is because it's goat cheese? See ya! <laughs> <laughs> uh, here is uh, Ed. Ed, you're running Fez. Hey, man. Hey, I wonder about these parties that some old black girls and throw them. When's she going to have watermelon, pork chop, and neck bone parties? I might come to one of them. Earl, how do you answer this? No plans on bringing watermelon and neck bones. Why not? But neck bones are disgusting. Maybe we will have all soul food next week. We've wanted to do that for a while, Earl. Nice. That's perfect for next week's 25% party. Where do we uh, normally go for that, Fez? We got a great place in Harlem. Amy Roos. Amy Roos next Friday, Earl? Uh, that's what everyone wants. Yeah, I can go with some Amy Roos. Are you glad you came back as executive producer? Uh, Well, yes, but the, fi no, the finances will take a hit, but I'm glad I'm back. Yeah, it's good to have you back. Of course, it would have been more of a hit if you were out with zero. Are you going to call Wiki after the show today? Yes, I am. Yeah, good. Uh, Eric, you're on Run Fez. Uh, yeah, can Big A do an Earl impression? Yeah, do an Earl impression. Oh, God. Um, uh, um, how about you ask me a question? Uh, Earl, do you have that taken care of for me? Have you got those tapes done? Oh, yeah, sure. I'll take care of it. I'm looking into it right now. <laughs> Just like the real thing, a big A. A big A. Oh, big A. Hold on. Is that a tugboat going by? Is that a tugboat? <laughs> Good one. Good one. I, you know what you ought to do? Put together a tape for Opie. 
One of them be a real tugboat, the other be your impressions, and say, figure out the difference. <laughs> All right. And that's by looking. <laughs> what? What's with you, Fez? What? The man was just operated on this week. I understand that. Why he's call back. him? You just called him a tugboat. He's back. He's fine. Is he? Yes, I believe so. He's eating our uh, 25% party pizza. Jimmy, you're on a fez. Yeah, this uh, big gay guy, he does these impressions. You would swear it's the real people. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's crazy. It's amazing. Uh-oh, is somebody shooting off a cannon? Um, um. Boom. Good. Uh, that's a good one. Uh-oh, a bus is coming by. <laughs> I told you what that was. No, what <laughs> was that bus? <laughs> it's a good bus. Seriously, friends. Stop it. Well, hold on. Is that a train? I hear a train coming by. <laughs> Fuzzy, ran, these are all Big A's impressions. It ran over that little bus, I think. <laughs> these are all Big A's impressions. That's not really a, a train coming by. I understand there's not really a train in here. Yeah. Fez, I hope you don't get wet. I'm about to start the sprinkler. That's just you going choo 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 choo. That should be your train impression. Fezzy, please. Are you going to help him get on O and A show, or are you going to play your old gimmick? We're in the new gimmicks now. Positive. I'm positive. These impressions stink. Is it last time I called up? You said you love me. That is true. I remember that, right? That was when you had a 5% chance of not making it. Billy, you're on Ronnie and Fez. Ronnie and Fezzy, what's up, buddies? Yeah. Uh, I'd like Big A to do an impression of Fez. Oh, nice. Let's hear it. Oh, hi, Fez. How are you today? Oh, oh hi, Big A. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Little gay, too, Big A. No! That sounds nothing like me. He got rude the femininity down. Rude Big and rude. Oh! Oh, you did Oh, you did He did a big A. Hey, Fez, are you going out with a guy? Oh, uh, no way. Ah! Fez can't even get a date, Big A. Ah! Right. Fez oh, is lonely, enough Big A. Is enough. This sounds nothing like me. Oh, Fez, did you just shit yourself again? Oh, yes, I did. Ah, no, you <laughs> did. Fez isn't hygienic, Big A. No, this you makes, did. This makes no sense. <laughs> this is the best. Uh-oh, is Fez leaving on a helicopter? <laughs> or, Fez, you could just get on that train. <laughs> Or that steamboat. <laughs> boop, boop. Or you can get in this race car. <laughs> Fez, if you need to, hydroplane. <laughs> or go down in the submarine. <laughs> yes, where's my submarine? <laughs> or take off in this giant pterodactyl. <laughs> Anything that you need, Fez. Anything at all that you need. Fez loves to travel. Big A. Big A. I'd like to get on that tiny bus. I don't think you could fit on it. Oh! oh! Call him fat, Only Big one A. thing left. Only one thing left. Homestar, what is that? That's the end of my show. Donk. Here's our friend, the Radio Shark. Hello, Radio Shark. Hey, why don't you just trade Earl back to O&A for, like, uh, an intern or two, or maybe, like, the ownership papers to Big A, or we, maybe you can jointly share, like, a Stalker Patty or something. Uh, here's the thing. Opie is far too smart for that. Opie is a chess player when it comes to dealing with the corporate world. And he, as a favor, talked me into the Earl thing. And I'm like, yeah, I like Earl. And he goes, great. So as soon as I said, I like girl, great, glad that's done. <laughs> and this is now going on for two years. Because we all do like girl. Thinking back, that's when the radio war should have started. When Opie gave us Earl. There is no radio war. Oh, there's a radio war. Still Opie going. doesn't want to talk about it. Yeah. Opie wants to puss out about it. But there's a radio war. Buck, 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 chicken, Hughes. <laughs> 
Uh, stupid. Both of you guys are being stupid, and the dung eating has stopped and all that. Although, I am proud of the show for this. We finally got somebody who can go uh, toe-to-toe, eyeball-to-eyeball, as far as doing impressions with Anthony. And I never thought we would have that, but Big A shocked the world yesterday with his impressions. Who do you really think does better impressions, you or Anthony, Big A? He doesn't do the sound effects that you do. Watch his door opening. Good one. All right, someone trying to start their car on a wintry morning. It's very cold. A uh, seagull. Good. Helicopter. Nice. That's also the car starting. Uh, no, it's not. Stop it, Fez. Jet plane. Here comes the jet. I almost ducked my head. That's also the <laughs> seagull. If what is with you? Same. Seriously, what's with you? I can't tell the difference between these things. You're trying, that's why. Is that a tugboat going by? Is that a tugboat? <laughs> Good one. I, you know what you ought to do? Put together a tape for Opie. One of them be a real tugboat, the other will be your impressions, and say, figure out the difference. And that's by looking. <laughs> what? What's with you, Fess? What? Uh-oh, is somebody shooting off a cannon? Um... Good, yeah, that's a good one. Uh-oh, a bus is coming by. <laughs> Hold on, is that a train? <laughs> These are all Big A's impressions. That's not really a, a train coming by. I understand there's not really a train in here. Fez, I hope you don't get wet. I'm about to start the sprinkler. <laughs> that's just you going choo-choo-choo-choo-choo. That should be your train impression. Fezzy, please. Uh, I'd like Big A to do an impression of Fez. Oh, nice. Let's hear it. Oh, hi, Fez. How are you today? Oh, oh, hi, Big A. Oh! Snap! <laughs> Little gay, too, Big A. No! Oh, that sounds nothing like me. Hey, Fez, are you going out with a guy? Oh, uh, no way. Ah! Fez can't even get a date, Big A! Ah! Right. Fez is lonely, oh, Big A. Is enough. This sounds nothing like me. Oh, Fez, did you just shit yourself again? Oh, yes, I did. Ah! No, you did Fez isn't hygienic, Big A. No, this you did This makes no sense. <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> there it is. And nice uh, cold ending. Just boom. <laughs> well, it, it, it has stopped. Yeah. yeah. All right, 866 runs zero fez. You're back.